G'day Ice Cream Lovers, Steve Christensen here, the ice cream bloke, self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School here. It doesn't take much to be a headmaster of a facility, particularly when you're self-appointing. Uh, but look, 20 years in the industry, I think I deserve the credibility and the name tag in any case. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about flow valves this uh, episode. Uh, some of the most infuriating work you'll do is not knowing how big your flow valve is, and it's not a personal issue. I do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is Dippin' Flavors. Dippin' Flavors, based right here in St. Louis, Missouri. Jimmy Stutz and the whole crew down there, Ryan, everybody, Mary, um, they're there to take your order. Basically, any flavor, any topping, any nut, uh, anything that you put in or on ice cream to flavor and make it fabulous, dippinflavors.com is the place to go. They sh all of their prices include shipping right to your door. D-I-P-P-I-N, dippinflavors.com. Thank you, Jim, for your episode sponsorship. Now, if you are running a gravity-fed frozen dessert machine, this typically applies to um, your frozen custard equipment, it also applies to your soft serve equipment. It can also apply to your slush or your frozen beverage equipment. But there generally is, uh, when you've got a machine that has a hopper or a refrigerated container on top of the machine that you're pouring your mix into, there generally is some type of valve uh, or regulator um, or carburetor that allows that liquid mix to drop in from the hopper into your freezing cylinder to be churned and then uh, extracted out the front, whether it's a frozen uh, dessert, like a soft serve, a frozen custard or a frozen beverage. I've got some examples here and this is why it's really important to understand what uh, role this flow control valve or this carburetor or flow valve makes. This is the flow valve from a uh, Stolting uh, soft serve machine. And you'll see right here there is an opening, come on, focus in here. That little opening there is the opening by which your ice cream mix, your soft serve mix, frozen yogurt mix, flows from the hopper down through this valve and into the freezing cylinder or the barrel or the evaporator. Now, if you're putting anything in that hopper that is bigger than that hole, so any uh, flavor profile that has pulp, that has particulates, that has seeds. You've got to be aware that if you block that flow hole, that flow control hole right there, then basically no mix is going from the hopper into your freezing cylinder. The whole thing gets jammed up, your barrel ends up running dry and you could damage the barrel. It's really important to know that. Here is an example of another type of flow valve. This is from a soft serve machine from uh, Electrofreeze. This one actually has uh, the flow uh, hole is down the bottom here and it's actually adjustable. So you can actually make it bigger or smaller uh, depending on the type of product that you have. Most of the manufacturers do have an adjustable flow valve or an adjustable uh, carburetor um, that allows that mix to fall through. But again, same principle. If I am putting anything flavor profile wise that's in my hopper that is larger than that or can clog that, then you're in a world of hurt when it comes to the process of freezing your product. This is the flow valve from a, a Taylor frozen custard machine. Um, and again, same principle, you adjust it from the top here, it's an adjustable flow valve. And down here as I adjust it, and you can see the hole here, as I adjust the top, it opens and closes that valve. So as you're putting more mix into the machine or a heavier mix, you can open up the valve a little bit more. When the hopper starts to get a little bit uh, empty and you lose that pressure, you can open it up a little bit more. And you just do that by virtue of this dial at the top. Most of them have some form of numbering along here that allows you to be able to know uh, where you're at so far as a uh, level of flow. But. If you've used gravity-fed uh, ice cream equipment, frozen dessert equipment, or frozen beverage equipment, and you've used this, these kind of products before, you'll have experience. Most of you, or most of us, I should say, because I've done the same thing, forgot to blend strawberry puree or uh, sift it uh, before I put it in the hopper. Next thing, I've got strawberry seeds blocking up the flow valve, and I've got the whole time I'm actually pulling this valve up, dropping it down, pulling it up, dropping it down, and now to get that mix through. Again, it's a 
real pain in the backside when it comes to operationally, uh, but it also can damage the machine. So talk to your manufacturer, ask about what mix you can put in the hopper that can actually uh, flow through that valve, whether the valve that you have is adjustable, whether you can open it or close it. But the main thing is to know exactly what type of flavoring profile you can put in your mix uh, so that it doesn't clog that valve. I've also seen other places where they've thawed a bag of mix and it's still very thick and icy and it hasn't been liquidy enough, liquidy, viscous, uh, to go through that valve, it just gets clogged up there. Really important when you've got gravity fed equipment. Look, uh, important tip today, you've got to keep an eye out for that kind of stuff. Again, we want to thank our episode sponsor, which was Dippin' Flavors. Thank you, Jim. And look, if you have any questions, quandaries, comments, concerns about the ice cream business, look, we're here for you. Drop us a line, steve at scoopschool.com. Uh, leave a message down below, we'll get back to you. And you can also click like. And uh, look, why don't you even subscribe? You can get daily goodness in your inbox. A little bit of ice cream daily goodness never hurt anybody. Anyway, keep on skewing, folks. See you in the next video.